Hey guys, it's Kristen and welcome to 2022. Today we are going to do a Dollarama haul and I thought it would be really neat to have you guys join me as I uncover the Dollarama supplies, arts and crafts, and different things that I found that I'll be using for this year. I know I haven't been here for a while and my old videos were comprised of DIYs but this year will be a little bit different and here's the bag. It's really big and I've got a lot of things from Dollarama and I'm really excited to share them with you all. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first item that I got was Studios Dual Tip Markers and this was only $4, really, really cheap. And the reason why I got this one is because it has dual tips and one edge is brush and the other edge is extra fine. I really wanted to try this for calligraphy and this year I was hoping and planning to do journaling so this would be perfect. It has 12 colors and I would say for $4 with 12 markers inside, I would say that's a pretty good deal. I'm planning to do a swatch video of these markers sometime in the future so that we could review how well they write. So if you're starting out in your calligraphy and you wanted to see if this marker set would be great for you and if you're on a budget and you just want something to be able to practice with, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you will be updated once the video is uploaded. The next items are crafts markers and these are new like this is the first time I've ever seen them at the store so I'm really excited to try them out. They look a lot like Copic markers but they are only three dollars. So just like earlier this one has dual tips and they have numbers per color so yeah very similar to Copic but the difference is these markers are water-based and they're also blendable. This one that I got, the first box, is the Pastel Collection. And they have really light colors included in this set. Again, I'm hoping to do a review video for these markers where we're going to swatch them and see how well they write, color, and blend. The next set that I got is the Charm Collection. And again, it's $3 for six pieces of markers. The colors that are included here are a little bit darker, so we'll see how dark they are on paper. And this last set that I got was the Skin Collection. So we'll see if they look like skin <laughs> when we draw and color our art. And they really caught my eyes when I saw them because they are very similar to Copic markers like from the outside. If you're on a budget and you need markers of different colors, just for $9, you're going to be able to get 18 pieces of markers. So that's pretty good. This next item is the bang for your buck because I was able to cop 12 pieces of gel pens for only $2.50. And that is Canadian dollars, guys. This one is the 0.5mm gel pens. And look at it, that's a lot of pens. And since I mentioned earlier that I'm planning to do journaling this year, this is going to be perfect because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using this black pen a lot. And now we've got a whole bunch of pens that we can use throughout the year. I'm really grateful that they are offering this set because wow that's a lot of pens <laughs> next up are these cute punches from craft and i specifically wanted to get these for my sticker scraps you know when you're printing stickers and you have extra or leftovers yeah this is what i want to use them for i want to be able to punch cute designs and still be able to use those scraps because it'll be a waste of sticker paper if i just threw them away these are really cute and really cheap as well it's only a dollar 75 for the bigger craft punch and a dollar and 25 cents for the smaller craft punch and yes, I got a maple leaf because A, Canada. <laughs> they also offer them in different colors and different designs. So could definitely get those that I wasn't able to show you today. This next item is very essential for all of us crafters and artists. And it's a craft mat with a knife set. So it has a knife tool with two extra knife refills in case the main one gets dull 
you can replace it with two others. And it comes in a bundle so you get the mat and the knife set for only $4. Next is this watercolor paint set from Artist Series and I'm really excited to try this one and review it. It's got 36 colors for only $4. So I've been wanting to get into watercoloring this year and I'm quite excited on how well this paint set would turn out on paper. I mean, that's a lot of colors for just $4. It's perfect for painting on the go. You can carry it wherever you want. And besides the 36 colors, it also has one paintbrush, one HB pencil, and one water brush. And yes, we are going to make a lot of art with this paint set. And of course, we cannot forget a sketchbook. I really like this one because of the design, the marbling design, and the rose gold color. This one is only $4 and it's got 192 pages. That is a lot of pages. It is pretty thick. The texture of the paper is also pretty smooth, but not too smooth. So it's got a little bit of roughness to it. It's a little thicker than regular paper. So we'll see. Maybe it's also good for watercoloring. Okay, okay, okay. So the next items that I got were these amazing bullet journals. I was trying to look for bullet journals everywhere inside the store and I just couldn't find any and then suddenly while I was flipping through the notebooks, I found this one and the cover page is I think made out of fabric and it's pretty good quality. The cover pages are thick, it's got 160 pages, really affordable, only $3.50 and it's just the right size, it's not too big. And for someone like me who's just starting with bullet journaling, I think it's just the right amount of pages because I have yet to discover what kinds of things I should include in my own personal bullet journal. And so I got three colors. The first one is like cream, whitish, gray color. The next one is light blue. And the last one is like dark blue navy color. And yeah, they are really nice. They are sewn. They are really nice when you open them up and I cannot wait to use them this year and share with you all kinds of journaling that I'm going to be creating and scrapbooking that I'm hoping to do as well. So speaking of scrapbooking, we've got a whole bunch of printed design papers and you girl of course got every single design that they had available these are only a dollar 25 each from crafts each bundle has 24 pages they come in 12 designs with two sheets per design so some specs these are six by six inches or 15 by 15 centimeters so you could definitely go crazy with these so i got some flowers i got some fruits i got some floral designs, vintage, and all kinds of things. For this year, I really wanted to dive into scrapbooking and take you on that journey with me. So I wanted to make sure that I had enough stock that would last me for the rest of the year. Overall, I think these only cost 60 or $65. So for everything that I was able to get for $60, I'm a pretty happy customer. I'm really satisfied with everything that I bought and I am just so excited to share them with you all. And I'm really looking forward to sharing with you how all the art will come together. So yes, I hope that you enjoyed our first Dollarama haul for the year. If you like any of the items that I showed here, please let me know in the comments below which one you're planning to buy at Dollarama. And if you don't live in Canada, let us know as well in the comments below where we can purchase these kinds of items in your own country. Maybe you have your own dollar store or dollar tree. And I'm sure everyone in this channel would also want to know where they can purchase something similar to these cheap and budget-friendly crafts and supplies. And yes, that is it for our video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.